All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have a question? So, uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. Look at this one. Looks like a fish? Your wealth may come from any direction. But when the wind comes down, the death and the evil will surely come. Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter? I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Get 
this one to the medical ward. Throw the other in the brig and keep him there. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
What was that? God damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Oh God, no. Charlie!
Won't you spare me over till another Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. 
or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to, I just didn't. I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh... Tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? Mm -hmm. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school, would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Uh, uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Ah, uh, TBH? I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad. Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Nah, man, you... You really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks? <laughs> so yourself. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. 
never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Selling, I'm buying. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so? So, the B-29 is a super fortress. During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and... were just, like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope. Oh, my god. Sorry, yeah. Uh... Nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? I am gonna do some reading up on B-29s. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. right -o. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look.
Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. This doesn't look kosher. Yo, little bro. Howdy. How's it hanging, sport? Man, Dude, still can't believe we actually found the plane. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> and a little web surfing? Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. What do you think is down there? Based on the photos you took, I'd say it's a search and rescue plane, which is way cool. Don't know if there'll be much to find, but still, don't forget the camera. Pics or it didn't happen. Whatever we bring up, we'll go through it all together and you'll tell me what I got, okay? Dope. Since when do you say dope? Since I realized it was like, tight? <laughs> Fresh. Welp. See you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. Huh. What am I looking at here?
I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. All right, kids. Ha, ha. Good you to go. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Just nope. remember the rules, please. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. It's like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Mmm. 
I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Hi. Hey. You okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Why do I keep these around? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm. What's that about?
fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. Oh. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Good God. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. He 
easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Brad told me that sometimes they would take a bomber and turn it into a search and rescue plane. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? In the look of things, they knew they were goners. It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right.
god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them, you just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure.
Coast Guard, the Coast Guard are here. What? Everybody flush their meth. We gotta get rid of all this meth. We can't let them take us alive. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a manned post proposal? We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. I thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find you. This is so awesome. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. 
The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 
Get me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Get untied, like now. Oh, shit. Come on. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. 
Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine, they didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, Orson. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! 
Ferme-la ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen Come here Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. You know what I like to hear? Nothing. That's right. Nada. Complete fucking silence. Get it? Hey, bud. We are going to talk. And that we are going to keep talking, and that we might talk a little more. So you know what? Get used to it. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. My, uh... My charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. We're starting to have some serious problems with... Hey, just be careful. It. it could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. 
Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. This is a floating death trap. Hey, hey! Keep moving!
I did not sign up for a trip to creep down. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Dickheads want with us. Ah, oh, damn! What was that? Oh shit! Watson, il y a une porte ici. OK. All of you. Into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. fucking place. Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we got to take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We got to get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No idea. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que... Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Il va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charme. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cet, cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on 
on fait seulement les voler. Mais là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure, was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these, uh, extras? Yeah, kidnapping, sep- What's going on? Just enjoying the perks of our all-inclusive cruise. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. It sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted. Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghost. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? We wanted an adventure, right? So let's adventure the shit out of this popsicle stand. <laughs> you gonna man up and be a hero? I'll be whatever you want. Duly noted. Okay, well we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. Real, real creepy. What do you think this ship was? I'm really scared. Great. Of all the places I'm gonna die on, a bona fide ghost ship. What happened here? Wait a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it off.
take a look. I wonder why this was ripped off. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Shit, uh, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces. Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate parents off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow-colored stew. I'm warning you. I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Look at that. I love with the demo place. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. And there's the mystery of the smelly socks punching briefs.
just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? Spooky. I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? You guess is as good as mine. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. I am so freaked out. It's okay. I'll protect you. Engineer's log. We totally fucked.
Oh, this is nice. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party.
distributor cap on the Duke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Our son! Damn it, they're taking place. Shut the fuck up, man. Where are the others? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. I need to see this now. Where we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys, we gotta keep moving. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around the kitchen. Hey, babe, once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. What is it? 
See for yourself. Oh. Hey, according to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. this place I'm thinking we got to go through here something. It was moving in the shadows. All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's got to be this way. Okay, no, this isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. We gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? Human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. This one, like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes, maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there, and those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then and... they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. What's 
the matter? Shh. Hey, what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get this. No time. <gasps> What the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh, why so spick and span? What? Fuck! Hey, this is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Any medicine we find in here is gonna be old, way out of date. Why do you want medicine suddenly? I'm just trying to be helpful. Right, okay, yeah, super helpful. Conrad, take a couple of these. Hey, where'd you go? Uh, looking for a second opinion? Where the hell is Conrad? Conrad? Maybe just get him some air. Conrad! What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope. Nope. Connie? Conrad. He must have gone on ahead. Connie! Hey, Conrad! Where the hell did he go? Are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you? <sighs> tell me.
Tell me where we are going, damn it! Whatever he tells you, don't you? Stop. This fucking place is cursed. do this. Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Friends go. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? What was that?
Hello? Is anyone there? That can't be a good sign. Jesus, what happened down here?
This is Julia's. They were here. Okay. They were here. Shamrock. What happened here? hearing.
fucking break. Buck up, B-boy. Buck up. They're close. Maybe they're through here. Alex? Julia? Hello? Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. So 
some sort of altercation. Who's that? Who's there? Get away! I'm not hearing this. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no! On here. What's name is this?
this place is not right. going on here? Let's keep your head on straight.
Captain? How did you find me? I'd say my plan of hiding from the crooks was a pretty solid move. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely give you that one. I mean, now they don't know how many of us there are. Mm-hmm. What's with the gas mask? I found it in one of the lockers. I thought it would help, but I don't know. We should get out of here. Okay, safe to say that we are now lost. It's a big ship and have a lot of corridors. I guess we just gotta explore every damn one of them until we find a way out. <laughs> wow, that is so not what you want to have happen when you're on a boat. We need to find a way up on deck. Hashtag my thoughts exactly. Yikes. How'd this guy meet his maker? Huh. There's a note. Oh, that's some ledge. Come, Brad. Come over here. Whoa. Maybe up here. I don't think we can go any lower. I'd say that's the main drive shaft. You ready? Yeah. like the way out. I wish I could say this was going to help, but it's kind of lame in every way. Oh boy. That's high. There's gotta be a way up on deck. No shit, Sherlock. You're catching on. No, there's no way down this grate. Yo, Brad, check it. That ladder. That could be our ticket out of here. <sighs> Wanna draw straws?
I'll go. Okay. <laughs> Be my guest. Yo, Bliss! You okay? Yeah, sure. How about you? Oh, great. That's gonna be a big help. Damn it! It's okay. Uh, maybe there's another way. I I'm looking up here. There's gotta be something. Uh, the ladder is for shit.
What? You... You okay? Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny, I think it's funny, but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's what you get. You get these guys that are not cream of the crop, they're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you wanna feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. <sighs> No way, that's not possible. It's just, it's just fucking with me. That's it. I gotta find everybody. 
whatever this is, it's just, it's just fucking with me, okay? <laughs> If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Not much of a practice what you preach kind of guy. Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? Should. But should I? <laughs> yeah, I should. <clears throat> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? Got some half at least. Enough for the door.
Get the hell out of me. I, uh... Woo wow, that was intense. <laughs> That's one way to put it. You got a better way. We gotta get somewhere safe. Hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. 
quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. No hint. Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy, like dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just like up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure? that we can all agree on. <laughs> Am I crazy or are, are we on a ghost ship? Like ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked. I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. Actually, we found something that mentioned that. I guess it got so bad that they set up a watch to see if they could verify any of the supernatural claims, you know, but nothing turned up. What do you think actually happened to this place? A goddamn mystery box is what it is. The date on the newspaper was 1947. The ship got caught up in some kind of bad storm. There was a whole note about it in the engineer's logbook. Did you see the gold? Anything? Yeah, I'm starting to think that there isn't actually any gold around here. Okay. That still doesn't explain anything. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So what's with the bodies? They come with the ship? Apparently getting scared to death is an actual thing because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive.
Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. This is... This is where I chased Conrad, before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar.
Over here. Gotta wait through here. Huh. Last log shows him caught in a storm. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position.
that. That's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hmm. Sounds pretty desperate. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandwidth. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy shit, we got him. Uh. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. This is an emergency. Please, help. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Yo, guys, check it out. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? I got... I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. All right. You and me, Julia. Broken bones. Everything still work? You guys okay down there? I'm okay. So, what's next? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Copy that. We'll wait up here by the radio. Here. Hey. Uh, 
After you. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. So it looks like there was some sort of fight and this Charlie went to the brig. Ten-day sentence. <laughs> Must have been a big fight. Someone named Joe was in the sick bay. I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. We're gonna get out of here, Julia. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? Might have been the son of someone on board.
Jesus. Take a look. Look, down there. I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Shit. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait. <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. See that? Ray, no. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations. That was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something. And the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. It was a search and rescue plane. The whole reason it even came out here was because the people on the ship sent out a distress signal. I guess by the time the plane got here, it was too late. Everyone on the ship had lost their minds, so they shot it down. Who knows what the hell they were thinking, or what they thought they saw. Oh, God. All right, let's get going.
this. The ship was anchored. I wonder why. You ever wonder what would have happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead? Shut up. Found it. Oh, thank God. And it's working. Yep, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up. <sighs> listen, listen, we're back. Can you read me? Do you hear me? Are you hearing us? Over. Please state your situation. Over. We've been kidnapped. All of us. And there are things trying to kill us on the ship. Over. A recovery mission is being prepped. Please state what side of the vessel you're on. Over. Hey. Okay. Uh, we're on this old freighter ship. We, we think the name of it is the Orang Medan. Hey, look at this. The rebreather. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? It's just gonna slow us down. No, we should take it. Parts of the ship are completely underwater. No. Je t'en prie. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça. Ta gueule. Ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule. Oh fuck. Stop. It's crazy. 
crazy as a shit house rat. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. We gotta get out of here now. There's no use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? You can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain. I am in control. And I am the one that says who goes and who stays. Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. The look in that guy's eyes. Even two on one Ziffy. I say we run. Run! Fucking run! Maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. No, I, I mean, we held our breath, man. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? 
I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Wait, 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 wait. We have a rebreather from our boat. What? We've been using it to get the mist out of us. You know, we could use it on you too, okay? No, 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 no. You keep that thing away from me. Oh, God. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. Great. That's just fucking great. Yeah, sure. Let's just start drowning ourselves in puddles now. Why not? There's 472 rivets in this room, which can only mean one thing. I've been in here way too long. Hey, is anyone hurt down there? <sighs> Shit, I gotta go after him, don't I? We gotta go make sure everyone's okay. Shit! Well, what's our play? You're gonna stay here with the radio. I'll go after them. What if something happens to you? I'm a big boy. This is my mess, and I'll clean it up. I'll be standing by with the radio. Good luck down there.
shit. God damn. How the hell big is this place? Talk this out, man. We can bond over how much we hate this boat. Really? So you think that's the best solution here?
All right. Let's try it. that took our boat. He thought there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. Manchurian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it. And it doesn't make any sense, you know. It just... And I know what I saw. I just... don't believe in... whatever it was that I saw. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex, it was someone else. But they looked just like Alex, and he was sneering at me. Fucking rich kids. So, um, does anybody else feel like knocking back Frosty? This guy? Yeah. So, um, I found this. Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something, I suppose. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Want to spare me over till <laughs>
So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here, huh? Whoa. What the hell is this? Good. Who's there? I fashioned her with my own hands. 